was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in a building with another banger. Now, first things first, before we go ahead and get started, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. And as y'all can see from the looks of the title and the screen, today, man, I got a very special build in store for y'all. Now, I'm gonna be calling this the Every Badge Build in NBA 2K24, but you can also consider it the Diamond 3-point threat. Now, the main purpose of this build today is going to be able to get every single patch in NBA 2K24. And that's exactly what I'm bringing to y'all. So, yes, you'll be able to get all of the badges. Depending on how you upgrade this build, the tiers will vary. But as for the build, when it comes to the comparisons, I really think it's going to remind me of Brandon Ingram. Now, you're going to be able to get a 100 plus when it comes to our attributes for the three-point shot, pass accuracy, and ball handle. Now we'll also be able to get most of the pro upgraded dribble packages. And then as for the badges, we're going to be able to get 11 gold, 27 silver with 38 bronze. So look, before we get any further into this video, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family. And last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with the response. So for the position, put it under the small forward. We're going to go with the exact same height as Brandon Ingram, so go with 6'8". Now as for our weight, put this down to 185. And then as for the wingspan, this is really optional, but I really found it best to be at 611. Now moving on to the attributes, the first area that I'm going to get into is going to be the playmaking. And as for the pass accuracy, we're going to go ahead and put this up to an 87. Now moving on to the ball handle, I'm going to go with an 85. And then for our speed with ball, put this up to a 77 as well. Now this is pretty much going to complete the playmaking area and I'll be sure to get back into the badges once we upgrade the build completely to 99 overall. So the second area that I want to get into is going to be our physicals. So moving on to the speed, I'm going to go ahead and put this up to an 81. As for the acceleration, I like this best at a 75. And then for our strength, put this up to a 74. Now you can already see that this build is pretty balanced. As for the vertical, I found this best at a 70. And then for the stamina, I'm going to leave this at a 93. Now these numbers are going to have a plus 4 from the Gatorade facility workouts. And the numbers are actually going to take a huge role when it comes to this build as a whole. So getting into the defensive area, starting from the top on the interior, I'm going to go ahead and put this up to a 74. As for the perimeter, I like this best at a 76. And then as for the steel, I decided to go ahead and put this up to a 72. Now for the block, I'm going to go with a 79. And to wrap everything up, for the defensive rebound, I'm going to go ahead and put this to a 60. Now the offensive rebound, make sure you go with a 26. And this right here is going to complete this area of the build. Now, do keep in mind you can make your own adjustments based to your own liking and play style. But once you see exactly what this build comes out to be for the batch layout, you're going to see exactly why I went about it the way that I did. Now, moving on to the shooting end, I'm going to go ahead and put my mid range shot up to a 70. Moving on to the three point shot, I'm going to go with an 85. And then to wrap everything up with our free throw, I like this best at a 71. Now we did meet the threshold to get a lot of badges unlocked currently and the last area that we need to wrap up is going to be the finishing. So as for when it comes to our close shot, I'm going to go with a 71, put that driving layup up to a 65 and then as for the driving dunk, I'm going to go with a 73. Now moving on to the standing dunk, I'm going to go with a 72 and then to finish everything off with the post control, put this up to a 79. Now you can see right here from the badge layout, we unlocked every single badge except one, which honestly, big driver, it does become because of the height reason. Now, if you want to make the adjustment to go ahead and do so, you can, but then we're going to miss out on the threshold of more badges. And that's why I did go with the height of 6'8 today. Now, as for weight and wingspan, that really did play a huge effect as well. 
But starting from the top bottom, look, if you want to check out the tiers of badges like I mentioned earlier, you're going to be able to get 38 total when it comes to the bronze, for the gold 11 which is pretty solid, with 27 silver. Now it's really no need to get into detail as far as to the badges that we did unlock because I'm telling y'all, you have everything needed to be effective for this build. Now if you are one to take this into the 5v5 setting, I really do believe that for the rec or even pro-am, you can find a lot of success with this build. Not only are you going to have the advantage of having every single badge, but the advantage of being able to do a little bit of everything, I think honestly in the right hands can be super deadly. Now as for the post scoring end, look we get badges like Dream Shake, Drop Stepper, Hook Specialist, even Post Pin Technician, and Post Fade Phenom. As for when it comes to our driving dunk, we even get Posterizer, Slithery, Precision Dunker, Aerial Wizard, even badges when it comes to our layup side. These are going to make a huge difference. We get Gold Pro Touch, Bunny with Acrobat. All of these are going to play heavily into this build's favor. Now, as for the shooting end, we still get Silver Blinders. Gold Catch and Shoot, I'm telling y'all, this is going to make a huge difference in any setting. As for when it comes to the three-pointer, you're still going to be able to be effective as well. I like the fact that we were able to get Limitless Range with Agent 3. Now, the fact that we do get this badge makes the biggest difference, especially adding in the fact that you can activate a sharpshooting takeover. Getting a 99 plus on this build honestly makes it all the better. Now, we get Silver Green Machine, also Space Crater, Spot Finder, Guard Up, and Open Looks. And then, as for the playmaking side, I really do like the badge Bailout. Now, look, we get Gold Break Starter, Dimer, Relay Passer, Special Delivery, and then also Silver Unpluckable. Now, badges that I think are going to make a huge difference are going to be Gold Ankle Breaker, Silver Blow By with Handles for Days, Gold Physical Handles. I'm telling y'all, this has definitely been one of my favorite badges this year. We also get Silver Speed Booster, Killer Combos, Gold Triple Strike, and then for the defensive end, I like Bronze Anchor and also Post Lockdown. So for the perimeter, we get a little bit of everything. Clamps, ankle braces, challenger, fast feet, 94 feet, and also off ball pass. Now for the steal, we get glove, interceptor, and right stick ripper. And then for the block, chase stun artist, anchor, as well as pogo stick. And then for the rebounding, box out beast, rebound chaser again with pogo stick. Now I really want to know your thoughts and opinion on this build down below. Is this something that you would create and what would you do to make this build even better? As for the tiers of badges, I think we did pretty good. The fact that we get close to 40 bronze and 30 silver, I think really sets this build apart from most. Now before we get out of here, I just want to say thank y'all for the support. Now let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that everybody made the build correctly. And if you followed along every single step of the way, we should be able to get these three comparisons. Brandon Ingram being one, and as y'all can see, we have created the every badge build in NBA 2K24 on next gen. And like I said, we would get the diamond three point threat. Now with this build maxed out, you definitely have a lot of potential, not only because of that, but look, adding in the plus 10 from your takeover boost, the plus 4 to 5 from buying your own, on top of that we wear gear, as well as the boost that we get from playing well in each game. Now just to give y'all an idea, you get that 99 plus 3 point shot, pass accuracy, and ball handle. Now look, before we get out of here, if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button, turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family, and last but definitely not least, comment down TG for thank God King Jesus and where you're tuning in from, and I most definitely will be sure to get back to y'all with a response. And with all that being said though, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.